Welcome back everybody to Sunrise POS, sunrisepos.com. Today I'm going to be going through just a quick tutorial for you on how to connect your receipt printer to your cash drawer. Uh, most people th uh, think that the cash drawer connects to uh, your maybe your all-in-one unit or to your computer in some fashion, but it does not. Um, the 99% of the printers these days are printer uh, driven so they get they get their kick actually from the receipt printer so when you get your cash drawer you're going to pull it out of the box what you're going to find is uh, what looks like a standard uh, telephone cable um, it's got it's wired already ready to go set up so in the back you'll notice of the cash drawer here you have a slot for your cash drawer so we'll go ahead and where it says cash drawer here we'll go ahead and connect that cable there to the cash drawer and we'll spin that back around. And then also you'll notice on the most on our on most printers, this is the Star TSP100. Most of them are the printers we're using today is our Sunrise POS printer that's made for us by SNBC. That is a dual ported uh, printer. It has not only um, a USB, but it also has a serial as well. So in the box will actually come a USB cable and a serial cable so if you filled up your USB ports with a lot of extra peripherals um, it does have a serial connection as well but most people just chuck the serial cable and use the, uh, the uh, USB because it's much quicker so what you're going to do is you're also going to have a power cable for the printer so you can go ahead and un when you unpack everything go ahead and uh, route your cable through the hole that you pre-drilled in your countertop and go ahead and connect the power to your printer and simply just plugs right in here All right, we got that and we're going to make sure we route push our cables nice and far down our pre-drilled hole that we have set up and then also you're going to see in here what, what is set up you have one this is this is actually a LAN printer but this is for demonstration purposes I'm just showing how to connect a cash drawer you're going to see this DK button right here and this is what you're going to connect the other end of this ca uh, the what looks like a telephone cord uh, right to your cash drawer or to the actual receipt printer and go ahead and route that and take all your excess cable and pop it straight underneath or what a lot of people do is if they've drilled their hole underneath maybe just the center of their cash drawer uh, and then you're also going to have your uh, uh, USB cable as well so that's going to come from either your all-in-one unit that's here on top of the terminal that'll route through and you connect that and this will uh, run directly through and connect to your re uh, receipt printer itself so that is how you're going to connect it all together so when the receipt prints the cash drawer pops open and without having to use a key it'll do it automatic and so that's what the that's how you're going to uh, handle if that's how you're going to handle that go ahead and leave that open and um, so this is how you're going to do it that's where you're going to have it all connected together so let's go ahead and close this whoops we've got it unlocked want to unlock it there we go and um, so really really easy to set up you don't need an expensive technician to come out and do this kind of stuff this is really easy type of setup everything's uh, very very easy to do standard USB cable right to the back of your printer take your excess cable and pop it down through the hole that you should have drilled in your countertop for all your power to route through and then this is just going to connect to uh, route through to your all-in-one touch terminal or uh, if it's a two-piece unit, maybe you're using a separate uh, touch screen and a separate PC, but real simple. Um, it's basically just a standard telephone cord. Make sure you route your cables down through the hole. Uh, and you really typically, ideally, you want to drill your hole in your countertop. And you want, you want to drill this about maybe kind of halfway from the back of the, ca uh, the cash drawer. To where if you're doing a two inch hole you should have maybe one inch hanging out and one inch underneath the cash drawer that way you can route the cables down real clean um, these route real easy nice underneath the feet as well so you can hide those the, your power cable your usb cable and your uh, cash drawer kick cable uh, those all hide real well 
and you tuck those all down right in there and also you want to zip tie these make sure everything's nice and sturdy um, that way if you're cleaning and things like that it's not going to all come apart but just quick tutorial for you on how to connect your cash drawer to your receipt printer and to the uh, your uh, either all-in-one or your, your PC but remember these are printer driven cash drawers so do not connect this part of your um, get this cable to your all-in-one because the power on those this is very very strong and you may burn out the solenoid in the cash drawer so it does just connect right to the back of the receipt printer nice and simple hope that helped you out again sunrise pos sunrise pos.com we got more training videos to come but uh, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions on how to set this up thank you very much give us a call 800-531-4767 we look forward to hearing from you